Welcome to IC3D training video complex carton fold template creation. This tutorial will now concentrate on how to create more complex structured models in IC3D. Select the carton fold template and drag into the 3D view. Then select the import die line button and browse to a complex DXF structure. The structure is shown in the 3D view ready for manipulation. To begin modifying the structure, all the lines must first be split using the Split Lines button. As this is a more complex structure, this process will take longer, indicated by the Modifying Lines Progress indicator at the bottom of the template window. Select the Hide Preview button to make the editor window larger for easier manipulation of the structure. All the lines should then be selected by clicking the Control A buttons on the keyboard or click and drag the pointer over the complete structure. Change all the lines to cuts shown in green by clicking on the Cuts button in the toolbar. The middle lines can now be selected individually, but by holding down the Shift key and clicking, you can select several lines which are collinear along the same length. These lines can then be linked together as folds using the Linked Folds button in the toolbar, shown in orange. When angle is applied to one of these folds later on, they will all adopt the same angle. The side lines are not collinear and so cannot be linked. However, by holding down the Shift key and selecting them, you can change them both to individual folds with the Toolbar Folds button, shown in red. The next set of horizontal lines are collinear, and by holding down the Shift key, these can be selected, then linked as folds again using the Linked Folds button in the toolbar, shown in orange. The small fold lines can then be selected together, again using the Shift key, clicking and dragging so that these can be changed to individual folds using the Folds button. The next set of double line folds cannot be selected together, but by holding the Shift key again, the top lines can be selected, as they are collinear, and made into linked folds. This can then be repeated by Shift key selecting the bottom lines and making them into linked folds also. The remaining folds are changed to individual folds. The central horizontal line is split when it is selected, and you would not be able to assign this as a fold unless it is joined together. Shift click on both the horizontal lines and join them using the Join Selected Lines button in the toolbar. The line is joined and can then be set as a fold. The next set of lines can be set as collinear folds. However, as we have shift selected the middle section, there is an unwanted cut component selection. This can be deselected by selecting the Alt key and clicking on the unwanted component. The remaining lines can then be selected as normal and made into linked folds. Build up the remaining folds as individual folds. At the bottom of the final horizontal cut lines, there are two unwanted cut line components. These can be deleted using the Delete Selected Line button in the toolbar. Select the Fit to Screen button to show the complete structure, and then build up the side panel folds using a combination of individual folds and linked folds where there are collinear lines. The Shift key helps speed up the process.
Once the first side has been configured, the fold components will be mirrored on the opposite side panel, again by selecting individual and linked folds in the same way. Once the fold selection has been completed, the structure can now be saved as an internal CTD file, which can then be loaded and used again in another project. Select the Show Preview button and then select the Generate Model button to show the flat, cut out model structure. The green eye icon shows the face that will show at the front when added to the 3D view. This can be changed using the Change Faces button in the toolbar if required. The substrate can also be changed if required. To aid folding of the model, select Ctrl-F, which will select all of the folds in the editor window as multiples. Using the Angle field, configure an angle of 90 degrees. The folds will then show in the preview. Select one of the second horizontal linked folds in the editor and change the angle to minus 90 in the angle field in order to correct these folds in the preview. Similarly, the two vertical individual folds should be selected using the shift key and the angles should also be changed to minus 90 degrees, which will show in the preview. The middle folds are also incorrect, as these show behind the model. Using the Shift key again, select the top folds to change these to minus 90 degrees, which will again show in the preview. Finally, the top flap linked folds also need to be changed. Select one of the flap horizontal linked folds in the editor and change the angle to 180 degrees in the angle field in order to correct these folds in the preview. The model is now correctly folded in the preview and can now be added to the 3D view using the Add Model to the Scene button. The selected face is showing at the front. The model can now be transformed using the rotation functions in IC3D Suite as desired. The completed model now shows correctly in the 3D view. And by control clicking on a face and selecting the Carton Options window, which shows all the folds in the model, the selected angle indicated by the red triangle can be changed as desired. This completes the IC3D training video Complex Carton Fold Template Creation.